On the right, the cos squared is coming out. The 1 minus sine squared is going in. OK, thoughts? Do so you want to go to the left? OK, how do I get rid of a plus 1? Minus 1. How do I get rid of a minus sine squared? Plus sine squared. So a sine squared plus a sine squared. And then that sine is just hanging around. And then a minus 1 plus 1. Ooh, that's handy. OK, thoughts? A what now? Say those words again. Common factor. Common factor. If you didn't notice that, recognize that, make yourself a note, because we did one just like this yesterday. Common factor, common factor, common factor. So just like this guy here, common factor. Here the com common factor would be x, and you'd be left with? 2x plus 1. Good, so we're going to just apply that here. The common factor is? And we're left with split. Are we okay where the negative half came from? So I jumped a couple steps there. Okay, sine x zero, that's an axis value. So they're looking for where is the y coordinate zero. So none up and down, just left and right. What are the values of x? There is no negative zero. That is correct. So the values of x are zero? Pi and two pi. 0 pi and 2 pi. Sine x equals negative a half, reference angle or family, which family has a sine value of 1 half. Sounds like an offer and a confirmation all at the same time. Quadrants. The pi on 6 family in quadrant 3. Check the interval. Are these all good values? Yeah. Just string them together, put them in order. So 0, pi, 7 pi on 6, 11 pi on 6, 2 pi. This would be a four mark exam question. One for factoring, one for splitting, and then for the values. One for each of the values. Secant and cosecant. Front of the card or back of the card and why? Front of the card or back of the card? Why do we want to go to the front of the card? No squares. Can't use the back if there's no squares. Okay, find me the formula that connects secant and cosecant. Yes, but does that link it to secant? So is there any one formula that links cosecant and secant? No. OK, so we've got to try something else. So what do we know about secant? Which of these does have secant in it? One over cos. So let's try that and see what happens.
if you wrote theta instead of x, give yourself a little slap on the hand. If the question's in x, you stay in x. Okay, what about cosecant? What's the formula we know about cosecant? 1 over sine x. Do I have anything joining sine and cos on this side? Okay, so if I could maybe do something here, that would be nice. Well, I don't really like the fraction. That kind of bothers me. So what I'm going to do is multiply each side by tan. I could multiply by cos. I'm just picking sine because I don't like it. So I'm going to multiply him up to the other side to get rid of him. Again, I could have multiplied both sides by cos. Oh, so sine over cos is 10. Again, I could have multiplied by cos. That would have given me, given me 1 equals cotan, which is fine as well. I just knew ahead I wanted sine on the top. Okay, now what? Okay, reference angle. I heard an offer of 1 and pi and 4. Quadrants. Pi and 4 family in Q1. Pi and 4 family in quadrant 3. Any questions where any of these numbers are coming from? Check the interval. Oh, oh, no interval, okay. Do you find as we're doing more, they're getting easier? Hopefully. Okie dokie thoughts. Front of the card or back of the card? Front, okay. What does the front of the card do for us? Not much. There's no one formula linking sine and cos without that tan or cotan. So let's check the back. Yeah, so I can take out the cos squared and put in 1 minus sine squared. Can I take out sine and put 1 minus cos? Why not? Doesn't work without the squareds. So this guy is going to come out. What about that 2 in front? I'm just going to leave them for now. I'm going to put some brackets behind them, and we know cos squared is 1 minus sine squared. And then I'm leaving everything else exactly the way that it is. If you wrote down theta anywhere in there, give yourself a slap on the hand. X, X, X. Which oh, I know someone did it. Come on. I know someone did it. Okay, now what do you want to do with this two? What do we do with any kind of coefficient in front of brackets? Yeah, expand or distribute. So two times one. Two times negative sine squared. And then keeping that plus sine x equals 1. Turn and talk. I'll give you about three minutes to finish this one off. Doesn't matter if you take things to the right or left, in the end you want to end up with 2 sine squared x followed by questions.
Two sine x plus one, sine x minus one. Sine x equals negative a half. Reference angle pi on six. Quadrants three and four. So x equals seven pi on six and eleven pi on six. On the other side, sine x equals one. That's a y value of one, so top of the circle. So x is three pi on two. Uh, pi on two. Pi on two. Check the interval. Oh, what does this mean? This negative thingy here. So this is negative coterminal. Negative coterminal of what quadrant? Okay, so this is pi on two if we go counterclockwise. If we go negative, this is negative pi on two. So this is telling you take the answers in quadrant four and do the coterminal. Why yesterday did we do three and four? Because this was to negative pi. Okay, so it just depends which one you're going to. So this means 11 pi on six is out. Its negative coterminal is in. Offer of negative pi on six. Smallest to largest. For the left brain rule people, if your interval starts with negative pi on two and then goes to something, this tells you you're doing the coterminal in quadrant four. If your interval starts with negative pi and goes to something, that tells you you're doing the negative coterminal of three and four. If your interval starts with negative three pi on two and goes to something, that means you're doing two, three, four. And as a lefty, it really bothers me I'm out of space here. If your interval goes from negative 2 pi to something, you're doing the negative coterminals of 1, 2, 3, 4. We're done, Unit 1.